Hey guys, it's your girl Jackie here, and we are continuing our Five Nights at Freddy's Revisited streak with Five Nights at Freddy's 3, or FNAF 3 as it says up here. So yeah, uh, this is probably my least favorite of the games just because this one isn't as scary as the others. It's more so just difficult, I guess, you know? It's like, it's not even really that scary, it's just kind of difficult. Which I find kind of odd because Springtrap here, um, <laughs> Springtrap I consider to be the scariest animatronic in the entire franchise, even more so than the Nightmare animatronics. There's just something about Springtrap, I do not like him. <laughs> well, I mean, I like him, he's my favorite, but I mean, he's the scariest as well. Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, featuring actual relics from the decades-old pizzeria did. Okay, now this first night here, nothing happens. And again, just like with FNAF 2, you might notice my cursor is squished, because... Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. Hey, hey, dude. Yeah, it's the same reason as for in FNAF 2, so... Yeah, so nothing really happens on the first night because Springtrap's not here yet. So this is more of just a tutorial night. Am I able to do the, uh... Oh my god, I am. I didn't think I was able to do that on the first night. Yeah, so we have these mini-games here which lead to the true ending. I might do that at one stage, go and try and get the true ending of FNAF 3. Uh, that's not gonna be in this video. This is, uh, I'm just using this as an example of these mini-games. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna be going through and trying to get the true ending of FNAF 3 in this video. But maybe one day I might. And maybe I might also do some various videos on Pizzeria Simulator, like the different uh, endings of Pizzeria Simulator. Alright, so I'm gonna start again, actually, because doing that minigame cut off the, uh... It cut off the phone call. Alright, featuring actual relics from the decades-old Pizzeria, this new attraction is guaranteed to bring back your childhood in the worst way po in the worst possible way. There's literally nothing happening, so I could just sit here and listen to him. And nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building, yep. and work their way toward you, and pass you, and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as... The security guard! Yay! Also, will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner. Yeah. It'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a foxy head, which yep. we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. <laughs> and we found a desk fan, very yep. old school, metal though. You watch the fingers. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. Uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, Boo! <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra... You can see where the thing crops at the top. Something like that. So, we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cams. Yep. Uh, then over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to 
I clicked out of the game window. Well, I clicked onto my second monitor. Because this game takes up the entire monitor. I used to be able to make it go windowed mode, but now I can't for some reason. Okay, it's already 4 a.m. And again, nothing happens this night because Springtrap isn't here yet. I remember in the mobile version, you used to be able to go back and forth, like, really quickly to prevent errors from happening. Then, of course, the mobile version got updated, and now that's no longer an issue, because now it's more like the PC version. Because, like, mobile phones were always capable of running a game like this, because it's just a bunch of images plastered together. Um... Like, they were always, uh, yeah, they were always able to uh, run a game like this, but I think the reason why the mobile ports were so poor con uh, compared to the PC versions is because Scott wasn't that good at making mobile games. And there we go. Yeah, I believe that was the reason Scott himself wasn't good at making mobile games. He wasn't good at uh, optimizing them for mobile devices. So that's why he hired the actual people who made the engine to remaster the mobile versions and to also release those versions on console, which still waiting on Ultimate Custom Night coming to Switch because uh, the original six are the original six are on uh, Switch right now. You know, the first four sister location and uh, Pizzeria Simulator, they're all on Switch right now, but still waiting on Ultimate Custom Night. Ultimate Custom Night's available on mobile. Yeah, yeah, Purple Freddy, I know. Or Shadow Freddy, I should say. And then, if you go down here... You can see over here on the left, we got BB Double Click, which double click the Balloon Boy poster, and then the top left, bottom left, top right, bottom right, for the, uh, the arcade thing. Those are both hints on how to get to those minigames. Which, again, not gonna be doing them in this video. But maybe one day I will. Also, if you couldn't tell by this layout, this is the FNAF 1 location that we're in right now. So then we go over here. Goes up there. Let's go. Error, error, error. We can't go there. Okay, let's leave and... Hi, William. Alright, now where is... Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. There he is! That makes it feel Hi. legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. It's oh, I see you back there. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Hello? Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk okay, I'm trying house. to lure him back to Cam 9. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer. Lure him back to Cam 9. Uh, these tapes will provide you Seal the vent. updated information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costumes. Hello? Right now, we have two specially designed suits. Okay, he's there. It's both animatronic and suits. So please pay close yeah, that's Golden Freddy and Spring Bonnie that he's talking about. 
or Fredbear, I should say. Hello. Audio error. So, yeah. So the whole point is you gotta lead him with this audio. Hi. And you can hear him walking around. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, shit! Yeah, I gotta make sure the vent, he was just at cam 10, but the vent that connects to, uh, the vent that you can enter from cam 10, that is a direct, but well, that leads directly into the office. There he is right there. Yeah, there's uh, you see this vent right here, that leads directly into the office. So we gotta lure him back to keep him away from us, but occasionally there'll be, uh, phantom animatronics coming out that will try and attack us. Hello? I have a feeling when I open up the camera next, uh, Balloon Boy is gonna be there. Balloon Boy is easy to... Bloom Boy is easy to avoid, you just gotta change the camera. Hello? I like to try and keep him at Cam 9 because, you know, I can close the vent off and the only place. <laughs> yeah, keeping him at Cam 9, I can just. I can close the vent off. And then the only places he can go are Cam 8 and Cam 10, so he can either go backwards to try and get into that vent that leads directly to my office, or he can go forward to Cam 8 to try and get to my office the long way around. But see, when he's at, when he's at Cam 8, he has three ways to go, because he can make it, he can go straight Yeah, when he's at Cam 8, he can go straight to Cam 5 here, and then he can go from Cam 5 through this vent to right in front of my office. <laughs> so I, li I like to keep him at Cam 9, because again, I can close this vent. right there, so. In later nights, uh, multiples of these start going off. That is the sound of him getting in the vent. Yep. But you see, I've got this vent sealed, so he can't get through. So he goes back out to right here. Alright, it's 5 a.m., so we're good. Yeah, because I know this is actually a person inside there. It's William. So, you know, I know it's an actual person inside there, but he's still inside an animatronic suit. Please tell me he got into Cam 11 and not Cam 15. Yep, okay. Oh, it's Cam 14, sorry, but still. And there we go. Easy peasy.
All right, see, now we're playing as Bonnie. All right, I'm not going to show what it says now. Like I said, I might go ahead and do a thing where I go to get the true ending of FNAF 3 at some point, but right now it's ju just a one-off video. Oh, you can see Freddy's down there. Boop, boop, can't go there. And boom. Alrighty, and so that does it for this video on FNAF 3. Uh, yeah, that's pretty simple, really. This game is probably the easiest of the FNAF games. So yeah, so in the next video, we will be going on and playing FNAF 4. Not looking forward to that one. I, uh, FNAF 4 is terrifying. So yeah, but anyways, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, if you liked it, leave a like, share this with people you know, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more great content, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>